Water, whether it's smart, sparkling, or secretly vodka, it's all around us. But a new movement believes that just like Trump, we're drinking water all wrong. The so-called raw water trend. Something called raw water. Raw water. Raw water. Techies in San Francisco are guzzling it by the gallon full. And stores that sell raw water are running out. From Bernie Bros to Silicon Valley, raw water is the health trend of 2018. And leading the movement is the clothing optional founder of Live Water, Mukande Singh. I couldn't wait to see what this raw lifestyle is all about. Oh, you wore clothes. We're not doing... Okay, what exactly is raw water? So raw water is unsterilized, pristine spring water that still has a lot of the healthy probiotics in it. There are probiotics in live water? Like the stuff that Jamie Lee Curtis keeps on pushing? Yeah, this is the healthiest choice for water. LiveWater's thousands and thousands of customers agree, even though the mainstream is pretty skeptical. Water is water. It doesn't have probiotics in it. Damn it, close again. <laughs> oh, why shouldn't I drink raw water? You could get sick. People going out and drinking from streams is risky. But some might say that raw water is the most pristine water you can drink. It might be, but how do you know what's upstream from it? There might be animals contaminating it or human waste contaminating it. Okay, but what are your qualifications? A doctorate in molecular biology and a master's in public health nutrition. Okay, touche. And Mukande's qualifications? Uh, I've studied a lot of yoga and self-meditation and journeying. Okay. But even without mainstream degrees, Mukande's business is skyrocketing. After all, he's selling the one thing that lasts forever. So live water is freshest within one lunar cycle because it can turn green if the water gets too hot. I'm sorry, I thought I heard you say that the water turns green. It turns green because there's healthy microbes in it. I'll be right back. Got it, healthy water should turn green. Well, no, it shouldn't. Hmm? Water is water, it's clear. It's, it's clear until one lunar cycle. Are you following? Not at all. Most people in the world would give anything to have a clean water supply. What's wrong with turning on a tap? I'll ask the questions here. What's so wrong about tap water? So tap water has a lot of synthetic things like fluoride and chloramine. Oh my God. Fluoride? We put fluoride in the water to prevent tooth decay. These are great public health achievements. Okay, so fluoride is good. No, fluoride makes people more docile. It's a, a mind control drug. The government is controlling our minds with fluoride? They could be. Oh shit. What mind control drugs? That sounds like something someone would say who's being controlled by the mind. I don't understand what the, I don't even understand the question. I mean, this guy is a charlatan who's part of a whole anti-science movement. But if fluoride being a government-induced mind control drug is anti-science, where's Livewater getting all these sciencey charts and evidence? There's a lot of evidence to support that if you just go to the third page of Google. The third page of Google? That's where it really makes sense. When you say evidence, do you mean conspiracy theory? It's not a conspiracy if it's true. You know, 9-11, I think we all know what, what really happened there. What really happened there? Scroll to the third pa page of Google. Okay. So I did. But the only thing I discovered about 9-11 is that it's Ludacris' birthday. And the only thing I discovered about live water is that, holy shit, how much does this cost? Two and a half gallon glass jugs are $22 each and then 12 to $16 per jug. So basically it's like the cost of a bottle of water and then lighting $28 on fire. It's a new idea. I can understand why there might be hesitation, but I recommend people try it. Well, just like I told Wolf Blitzer at that cocktail party, I'll try anything once. So I agreed to venture deep into the wilderness. So here is our beautiful spring. This is where you get water. You want to try some? Yeah. I'll wait for you go first, and then I'll, I'll get right to it. Oh, God. Please don't let there be a dead body upstream. Tastes good, huh? 
tastes like water. Yeah, with uh, healthy probiotics and minerals in it. Probably a little bit of animal poop. Just say, hypothetically, I tried just a little bit of spring water. What's the worst thing that could happen? You could get dysentery, you could get cholera, you could get giardia. The Oregon Trail diseases? Oh, God. All the Oregon Trail diseases and all the new ones that have come since. So we have a bucket. In the end, much like the Oregon Trail, raw water and other anti-science movements will probably forge ahead. But as for me, I feared a different fate.